This is Stefan Schmidt. I'm here in my office at the, what I call, Iowa Presidential Caucus Headquarters. It's January in Iowa. It's brutally cold. The wind is whipping. The temperatures are below zero, which is uh, sometimes the way things are here. Um, we're a year away from the Iowa caucuses, but today the uh, Iowa Republican Party meets to decide whether an event that has preceded the Iowa caucuses every four years uh, as a presidential testing ground, namely the Ames Straw Poll, um, is being considered um, because there has been some doubt that it would continue as a political event in the summer um, prior to the Iowa caucuses. Governor Terry Branstad has been um, worried um, that the Ames straw poll was not accurate enough and could therefore create doubt as to the validity of Iowa as the first in the nation. It's true that in past Ames straw polls, um, people who then did not go on to either win the caucuses or get the nomination uh, did very well. Uh, Michelle Bachman is the most recent example, a congresswoman from Minnesota. But people like myself and others who think that the Ames straw poll is a valid and uh, useful event have always pointed out that essentially it is really not part of the Iowa caucuses. Uh, not any more than, let's say, a major poll that's taken by a polling uh, agency or a polling company before the caucuses is part of the caucuses. You know, if um, Gallup or, or the Washington Post or some other uh, major uh, news organization carries out a poll that shows certain candidate ahead in Iowa, and that happens months before the Ames, uh, before the Iowa caucuses, we don't consider those polls to be part uh, of, of the Iowa caucuses. The difference is that the Ames straw poll is actually uh, run by the Republican Party, and it's run as a fundraiser for the party, and people come uh, from all over the U.S. to support their favorite candidate, um, and the candidates spend a lot of money uh, attracting supporters to vote on uh, that day of the Ames straw poll. But to me, it's more like a political festival. You know, there are bands, there are barbecue, there are tents and, and all kinds of uh, people dressed up in political garb. And I think it's a fun event, and I'm therefore cheering for the Republican Party to support the uh, um, 2015 summer Ames Republican straw poll, I've actually recommended to the Democrats that they should run their own straw poll for um, Democratic candidates for president, um, maybe on a different day, and it would make it a um, kind of a polapalooza or something like that, as I call it, uh, of, of political activity at a time of year, which is the summer when there isn't much other political news. This is Stefan Schmidt. Hope to see you in the uh, MOOC, the massive open online free course that we are going to be offering in the fall of 2015 on the Iowa caucuses.